Hello people and welcome to the 17th of May 2020 We're uh, still in the middle of lockdown uh, due to coronavirus or COVID-19 uh, but they've relaxed the lockdown now in the UK so we're free to travel again so this is the first time out on the bike for me for what must be five months five months and today it's a it's a clear day ish bit of cloud about 14 degrees so I've still got the uh, the big jacket on so I thought I'd go out for a blast blow the old cobwebs away and uh, I just wanted to discuss a few things and, and, and mention a few things um, obviously coronavirus is um, a major issue over in the UK more economically now uh, it's sad to say um, but we have like I say relaxed the lockdown so shops are starting to open um, the bigger shops especially the supermarkets have, have always been open um, we've still got the two meter distancing rule um, but smaller shops are starting to open now so obviously hairdressers nail salons anything that's got contact um, they're still shut pubs and restaurants still shut hotels I'm not so sure I'm not so sure caravan parks they are still shut but we're allowed to play sports now and the golf courses are open again but obviously the clubhouses are shut if you're into that kind of thing um, so yeah I just like to, to wish everybody the best in these tricky times and hope you're all doing okay and hope you can all get out on your bike when you can and stay safe try not to fall off the bugger um, obviously the hospitals are, are busy enough and I'm expecting the last place anybody wants to be if they don't have to is in a hospital um, I certainly wouldn't want to be in one so we're taking it steady hello boys um, the other thing I wanted to mention which again is um, is linked to coronavirus because we've all been locked down um, I was furloughed um, from work for um, a month um, and although we had fantastic weather which was a kick in the teeth because you couldn't go out on your bike we had fantastic weather but once you've done all the gardening and you painted all the fences and you painted your gutters and cleaned the front door and cleaned all the windows and washed the car and all the rest of it you were kind of scratching around so you found yourself staring at a screen whether it's your laptop your phone the TV um, and I found myself watching um, a lot of YouTube and there's a few people or a few channels I want to give a big shout out to for helping me not go insane um, I've got one in particular that's a favorite and I'll keep that uh, till, till the very end but um, the likes of uh, the crumble he's back I don't know if anybody have ever um, seen the crumbles channel if you if you get a chance go and have a look he's a funny funny guy um, and he's been he's been away for quite a while but uh, he seems to have uh, found a bit more passion definitely go and watch the crumble um, I, I do enjoy uh, I know it's on the other side of the pond but the cycle cruiser subscribe today he's, he's another funny guy um, missing and flyer um, hey kids missing and flyer how are you doing all that brilliant absolutely love Missenden Flyer very factual very professional no messing about is um, also very good to watch very informative as well um, yummy noob 
uh, again another good channel but my favorite uh, by far has been over this last month has been lamb chop lamb chop rides the chopster that man is a mentalist his videos are constantly fantastic and all his reviews etc 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 but because he's been on lockdown he's decided to take a perfectly in my opinion a perfectly good Ducati hypermotard and strip it down to every single nut and bolt ticket in bits the whole freaking thing and hopefully he can put it back together and I'm still in the middle of the series and and, uh, and chops hasn't finished filming it all yet he's got bits being sent away for painting etc but that has been absolutely brilliant I've thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed watching lamb chop rides so again if you get a chance and you've never seen it before go and watch lamb chop rides on YouTube um, so yeah that, that kind of kept me entertained and stopped me going mad watching Netflix with the wife etc so yeah it's, it's we've got through it and we're still getting through it um, hopefully everybody's managing to support themselves financially one way or another um, and today is the first weekend really that we've been allowed out on uh, on bikes and I have seen um, a lot of bikers I'm hoping to do about maybe 100 miles today something like that um, taking it steady because like I say it's been five months since I've been on the bike so it's uh, and if anybody don't if any of you don't know I'm on a CB 1000R CB 1000R Plus if we're being pedantic um, I've had it for about two years now coming up two years so yeah so stick along for the ride and uh, we'll see if we can find some twisty bits and uh, something more to talk about cheers guys okay then looks like we've found ourselves Ooh, bright pink coat looks like we found ourselves some twisties let's see oh big bump see if we're going to enjoy the ride a bit of crap on the road hello sir somebody else enjoying them you got to love a quick shifter, haven't you? I don't know what the bleeding hell's been down this lane, but it's covered it in crap. went a bit uh, it went a bit cloudier earlier on I had to put the old uh, heated grips on keep nice and warm but uh, sun's coming back out again now so you can't see past these hedges so hopefully we'll be warming up a bit Bit of a dip, bit of a dip. There we go. Whoop. You know, for um, a bike that's not supposed to be very sporty, it's uh, certainly sporty enough for what I can do on it. Yeah, it's a bit soft. The front end's a bit wallowy, a little bit sketchy tyres aren't overly sticky but it's still 
can outdo what I can do. It's a lovely road this, one of my favourite roads. It's got a few nice um, sharp dips really like that one where you just get a little bit airborne and it just keeps you on your toes and uh, it's also used by a lot of other motorcyclists so you can um, you can you can find somebody to ride with if you, if you come along here you'll, you'll definitely find somebody to ride with and, and whether you can keep up with them or you know whether you can't doesn't matter but um, yeah you can certainly catch up to somebody and follow them for a bit and there's lots of tea drinking places at the end of it where you can catch up and have a chat it's good fun It's not too windy in this uh, in this helmet. There is a lot of wind noise from this helmet. But, uh, I've got one of those little uh, muffler things on. Whoop! There we go. Airborne again. Uh, so hopefully it's uh, drowning those out. The only other thing with this road, as you can see from that sign there, is there's a lot of cattle. And it's not so much the cattle are in the road, it's the fact that there's a lot of flies. And you could almost do with having tear-off strips, but uh, I don't have any of those. Hopefully you lot haven't got any flies stuck to your face. There you go, more and more bikes. Gotta love the cycling motorcycling fraternity, haven't you? What a what a great bunch of people. Right, I think we'll get to the end of this road. And then I did promise my missus that uh, I'd break out the barbecue and cook or something, so I need to uh, probably get back. But I'm not missing out on uh, all this fun. Steady boys, nice and steady. And slow down again. Into the 30. Nice day for it. Looked like she was enjoying herself anyway. Oh, steady on. Jesus. Mm. Somebody's having a bit too much fun there, I think. Crack it as a few. been some kind of uh, oh Jesus some kind of meat <laughs> you really have to grip on on this road it's uh, undulating to say the least so we'll get to the top of here and uh, see where we're up to
Well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, short bit of twisties. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna leave you with it. I'm gonna sign off, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks again. See you later.